Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Govinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 
Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya, Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna, phew. I read a little Krishna book. Krishna book. Jaya Radha Madhava Punjabi Hari Radha Madhava Punjabi Hari Gopi Janavala Bhakti Vaidari Gopi Janavala Kiri Bari Dari Yasoda Nandana Prasajana Randana Yasoda Nandana Prasajana Randana Yamuna Tira Banachari Yamuna Tira Banachari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktivinoda. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Krishna the Rancher. Chapter 51. Rancher means, in India, it means uh, a soldier who runs away from the battle. It's like a cowardly thing to do. 
They don't, they don't want to fight. So Krishna, Jarasandha was attacking for the 18th time, and Krishna ran away from the battlefield. But the reason he ran away from the battlefield was he got a special message from Rukmini. And we're going to find out what the message was, is that she told Krishna she was in love with him, and he, she wanted him to kidnap her before her family married her off to Sishupal. Sishupal, forget it. She didn't want to marry Sishupal. So she sent a letter with a Brahmin telling Krishna how she loved him and she wanted to be his, his queen. Now, she's already Krishna's queen. She, the, the queens of Krishna and Dwarka, they're all expansions of Radharani. When Krishna manifests his pastimes in Dwarka, and is part of the royal family, Radharani also expands to accompany him uh, as different queens. But these pastimes are going on. So, uh, so to get away from Jarasandha, Krishna and Balaram, they climbed up a big mountain because Jarasandha was chasing them. As Krishna and Balaram left the battlefield, Jarasandha's chasing them. And they went up a mountain. Jarasandha set the mountain on fire all around. And Krishna and Balaram jumped off the top of the mountain 88 miles. Okay, without a parachute, folks. He just jumped off the mountain 88 miles high. And Jarasandha thought that they had been burnt up. So he was happy. He went home, stopped attacking, stopped fighting, left Dwarka alone, left Matura alone. And uh, Jarasandha left the city of Matura, returned to his home in the kingdom of Madiga. Gradually, Krishna and Balaram reached the city of Dwarka, which was surrounded on all sides by the sea. Following this, Sri Balaram married Revati, the daughter of King Raivata, ruler of the Anarta province. This is explained in the ninth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. After the marriage of Baladev, Krishna married Rukmini. Rukmini was the daughter of King Bhishmaka, ruler of the province known as the Darba. Just as Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vasudev, Rukmini is the Supreme Goddess of Fortune Maha Lakshmi. According to the authority of Chaitanya Charitamrita, the expansion of Krishna and Sri Radharani is simultaneous. Krishna expands himself into various Vishnu Tattva forms, like the forms that are found in Mathura and Dwarka outside of Vrindavan, and Srimati Radharani expands herself into various Shakti Tattva forms by her, by her internal potency as multi-forms of the Goddess of Fortune to accompany Krishna. According to Vedic convention, there are eight kinds of marriages. In the first class marriage system, the parents of the bride and bridegroom arrange the marriage date, then in royal style the bridegroom goes to the house of the bride, and in the presence of brahmanas, priests, and relatives, the bride is given in charity to the bridegroom. Besides this, there are other systems such as Gandharva and Rakshasha marriages. Rukmini was married to Krishna in the Rakshasha style because she was kidnapped by him in the presence of many rivals like Sishupal, Jarasandha, Shalva and others. While Rukmini was being given in charity to Sishupal, she was snatched from the marriage arena by Krishna, exactly as Garuda snatched a pot of nectar from the demons. Rukmini, the only daughter of King Bhishmaka, was exquisitely beautiful. She was known as Ruchiranana, which means one who has a beautiful face, expanding like a lotus flower. Devotees of Krishna are always anxious to hear about the transcendental activities of the Lord. His activities of fighting, 
kidnapping, and running away from the battlefield are all transcendental, being on the absolute platform, and devotees take a transcendental interest in hearing of them. The pure devotee does not make the distinction that some activities of the Lord should be heard and others should be avoided. There is, however, a class of so-called devotees known as Prakrita Sahajiya, who are very interested in hearing about Krishna's Rasa Lila with the gopis, but not about his fighting activities with his enemies. They do not know that his bellicose activities and his friendly activities with the gopis are equally transcendental, being on the absolute platform. The transcendental pastimes of Krishna described in the Srimad Bhagavatam are relished by pure devotees through submissive oral reception. They do not reject even a drop. The story of Krishna's marriage with Rukmini is described as follows. The king of Vidarbha, Maharaj Bhishmaka, was a very qualified and devoted prince. He had five sons and only one daughter. The first son was known as Rukmi. The second, Rukmarata. The third, Rukmabahu. The fourth and youngest, youngest Rukma Kesha. And the fifth, Rukmamali. The brothers had one sister, Rukmini. She was beautiful and chaste and was meant to be married to Lord Krishna. Many saintly persons and sages like Narada, Muni, and others used to visit the palace of King Bhishmaka. Naturally, Rukmini had a chance to talk with them, and in this way she obtained information about Krishna. She was informed about the six opulences of Krishna, and simply about hearing about him, she desired to surrender herself to his lotus feet and become his wife. Krishna had also heard of Rukmini. She was the reservoir of all transcendental qualities, intelligence, liberal-mindedness, exquisite beauty, and righteous behavior. Krishna therefore decided that she was fit to be his wife. All of the family members and relatives of King Bhishmaka decided that Rukmini should be given in marriage to Krishna. However, her elder brother Rukmi, despite the desire of the others, arranged for her marriage with Sishupal, a determined enemy of Krishna. When the black-eyed, beautiful Rukmini heard the settlement, she immediately became very morose. It's interesting here, it says that she had black eyes, not like black eyes, but dark eyes. And in other places, she's described as having green eyes. So that's whatever. When the black-eyed, beautiful Rukmini heard the settlement, she immediately became very morose. However, being a king's daughter, she understood political diplomacy and decided that there was no use in simply becoming morose. Some steps should be taken immediately. After some deliberation, she decided to send a message to Krishna. And so that she might not be deceived, she selected a qualified brahmana as her messenger. Such a qualified brahmana is always truthful and is a devotee of Vishnu. Without delay, the brahmana was sent to Dwarka. Reaching the gate of Dwarka, the brahmana informed the doorkeeper of his arrival, and the doorkeeper led him to the place where Krishna was sitting on a golden throne. Since the brahmin had the opportunity of being Rukmini's messenger, he was fortunate enough to see the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna, who is the original cause of all causes. A brahmin is the spiritual teacher of all the social divisions. Lord Krishna, in order to teach everyone the Vedic etiquette of how to respect the brahmin, immediately got up and offered him his throne. When the Brahmin was seated on the golden throne, Lord Sri Krishna began to worship him exactly in the manner in which the demigods worship Krishna.
Krishna. In this way, he taught everyone that worshipping his devotee is more valuable than worshipping himself. In due time, the brahmana took his bath, accepted his meals, and took to rest on a bedstead, completely bedecked with soft silk. As he was resting, Lord Sri Krishna silently approached and with great respect put the Brahmin's legs on his lap and began to massage them. In this way, Krishna appeared before the Brahmin and said, My dear Brahmin, I hope that you are executing the religious principles without any difficulty and that your mind is always in a peaceful condition. Different classes of people in the social system are engaged in various professions, and when one inquires as to the well-being of a particular person, it must be done on the basis of that person's occupation. Therefore, when one inquires as to the welfare of a Brahmin, the question should be worded according to his condition of life, so as not to disturb him. A peaceful mind is the basis for becoming truthful, clean, equipoised, self-controlled, and tolerant. Thus, by attaining knowledge and knowing its practical application in life, one becomes convinced about the absolute truth. The Brahman knew Krishna to be the Supreme Personality of Godhead and still he accepted the respectful service of the Lord on the grounds of Vedic social convention. Lord Krishna was plain, just like a human being, belonging to the Chatriya division of the social system, and being a young boy, it was his duty to show respect to such a Brahmin. Lord Krishna continued, O oh, best of all the Brahmins, you should always remain satisfied because if a Brahmin is always self-satisfied, he will not deviate from his prescribed duties, and simply by sticking to one's prescribed duties, everyone, especially the Brahmins, can attain the highest perfection of all desires. Even if a person is as opulent as the King of Heaven Indra, if he is not satisfied, he inevitably has to transmigrate from one planet to another. Such a person can never be happy under any circumstances, but if a person's mind is satisfied, even if he is bereft of his high position, he can be happy living anywhere and everywhere. This instruction of Krishna to the Brahman is very significant. The purport is that a true Brahman should not be disturbed in any situation. In modern age of Kali Yuga, the so-called Brahmins have accepted the abominable position of the Sudras, or less than Sudras, and still want to pass as qualified Brahmins. Actually, qualified Brahmin always sticks to his own duties and never accepts those of a Sudra or of one less than a Sudra. It is advised in the authorized scriptures that a Brahmin may, under awkward circumstances, accept the position of a Chatriya or even a Vaishya, but never is he to accept the profession of a Sudra. Lord Krishna declared that a Brahmin should never be disturbed by any adverse conditions of life if he Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hmm. Krishna. Hmm. Satisfied. Hmm. Even if he's bereft of his high position, he can be happy living anywhere and everywhere. 
Krishna Chaitanya. Krishna. The instruction of Krishna to the Brahmin is very significant. The purport is that a true Brahmin should not be disturbed in any situation. In this modern age of Kali Yuga, the so-called Brahmanas have accepted the abominable position of the Sudras or less than Sudra and still want to pass as qualified Brahmins. Actually, a qualified Brahmin always sticks to his own duties and never accepts those of a Sudra or of one less than a Sudra. It is advised in the authorized scriptures that a Brahmin may, under awkward circumstances, accept the profession of a Chatriya or even a Vaishya, but never is to accept the profession of a Sudra. Lord Krishna declared that a Brahmin should never be disturbed in any adverse conditions of life if he scrupulously sticks to his religious principles. In conclusion, Lord Sri Krishna said, I offer my respectful obeisances to the Brahmins and the Vaishnavas, because the Brahmins are always self-satisfied and the Vaishnavas are always engaged in actual welfare activities for human society. They're the best friends of the people in general. Both are free from false egoism and are always in a peaceful condition of mind. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.